Hey noble ones, welcome back to my channel. A little heads up for you. I've noticed that the last video I published, Romans vs Mongols, has got a lot of going on in the comments section. So I decided that today and tomorrow I will be in the comments section of that video specifically, answering all the comments that will be sent to me. So it's an opportunity to interact with me and discuss about this very interesting topic. I'll see you there. In the last few years I've been speaking about the top 10 most effective martial arts. Today we're going to talk about the exact opposite, the styles, martial arts and teachers you definitely need to stay away from. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money and most importantly don't waste your life as most of the techniques we're going to see today are going to endanger you and get you killed if you actually try this absolute nonsense. As the first thing I'd like to talk about is learning martial arts from books. I'm going to learn how to defend myself through a book or through watching videos it just doesn't work you need a trainer you need a teacher and most importantly you need a, a whole bunch of sparring partners because you need to fight if you want to learn how to fight there are a lot of videos of women self-defense I'm sure that there might be some instructors who teach you legit stuff but all too often the things you see they're a complete waste of time and whenever people who really know how to fight like MMA guys try them they show that they don't work when you are teaching a set of moves Moves that doesn't work you are dangerous it's a similar situation that you see on videos that teach you how to defend from firearms knives and then make it sound like it's simple stay away so be very careful the teacher you choose and this in fact leads us to the next point we're talking about mech dojos because this is something that needs to be spoken about sometimes the style might be legit so you might go to a dojo local athletic center or gym that also does martial arts and they will be claiming to be teaching karate and whatnot but in reality the place you are training now is a mcdojo a mcdojo is anything that values quantity of students and making money over quality of teaching so the martial art itself is not a problem but they're not really teaching it if you see that there are like 50 students all packed with only two instructors then there is something wrong if you see that the instructor refuses to roll with his students nobody fails belt tests again a business model i remember when i was practicing kyokushin karate a lot of people People failed they weren't giving out belts just to sell just to make money getting promoted required hard work if they give an adult black belt to a 10 year old then there is something wrong business and profit focused dojo are mech dojos and they're teaching you nothing Tai Chi. I know some people are going to get pissed at me here, but I'm, I want to speak the truth, to be honest, because this is an important video to make. Tai Chi is a phenomenal style. From a cultural point of view, I think it's beautiful, it's fascinating. But people who practice it because they think that through this kind of training, they're going to be able to learn how to beat a professional boxer, then they are deluding themselves. And also, they're doing it for all the wrong reasons. If you practice Tai Chi, or you're just simply interested and in love with Chinese culture then by all means be my guest but don't expect a style that has zero combat to be able to teach you how to fight effectively both on the streets in a ring and then again fantasy this is perfect for a you laugh you drink kind of challenge no idea what this style is called so let's just call it Russian slapping as I've heard other youtubers say this is absolutely ridiculous I mean this guy <laughs> oh my gosh Oh, I can't do, I can't do this. Like, I can't make the video. It's just too funny. What on earth is this guy doing? This is literally the martial art of bitch slapping. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to see you make that work against a monster of a truck driver. Literally. Well, maybe actually you might end up killing them because they end up laughing themselves to death. You know the saying, laugh your head off? Not to mention, I think the sort of wrist injuries you end up getting with this is Probably. I mean, this guy looks like a lunatic. Oh, the things people come up with, absolutely moronic. All right, get ready because we are getting into the good stuff here. Kyusho Jitsu, the Dilman method of pressure point fighting. The, the name of the style itself requires a black belt to say it properly. The idea is that he knows these pressure points, ancient of course, knowledge, whereby he can just knock you out with one move or also simply using his chi, his power, his inner energy, his dragon ball. Now, of course, the thing is that, yes, you might see these videos and think, but it looks like it's really happening to these people. So what's going on? Well, these are people who have been deceived. They believe 
believe that this stuff works and so they end up doing what everyone else expects them to do and what's dangerous about this is that if you believe in this man not only you're going to give him your hard work money and time but then you're going to think you can knock people out with your power and when it's not going to happen during a mugging you're going to die in fact look at this guy here he doesn't believe he's skeptical and guess what it doesn't work and as a form of justification here is what he's saying to explain to us why it didn't work the skeptic was un was a, a totally non-believer non-believer plus i don't know if i should say that on film but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth uh that can also nullify it if i say i'm going to knock you out and you raise one toe and push one toe down can't knock you out Bloody hell, that was painfully stupid. Of course, you're just coming up with it, but if it was the truth, well, you have just nullified years of training because now everybody knows how to block your technique. So thank you for that. You just committed career suicide. Touch of death, pressure points, dim muck by John Keehan. Okay, so here I think we are graduating to the deluded. So this guy, I truly believe, he believed he was able to do this stuff. He was a killing machine. The, oh my God. This guy is the cringe lord. We should all bow to the cringe lord. The empty force. So this is what's funny about this video is that we are slowly progressing to the absolute complete crazy. So these people believe that they can use their touch plus their ki, which is basically the same thing as chi, uh, it's just Japanese and, and Chinese, but whatever. They're using their inner energy to to do what <laughs> to do this. Okay, just just watch. I'm not even gonna say anything. Just watch. Yeah, okay. And again, guess what? Whenever they try it, to do it on people who are skeptical, who are not their pupils, it doesn't work. And number two, this is quite famous for those of you who know about this bullshito, but Kiai. So there is this master, and his name is like uh, Ryuken, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, perfect name. So this guy, elderly man, he literally believed that he could just throw around people using the power of his key, so his inner energy again. Quite a lot of people are actually coming up with this stuff and people believed him. So they were like, wow, look at that. It's incredible what this guy is able to do. Look at that Muppet making people fly around. I want to do that. So, you know, you go to this guy, starts teaching and this mentally unstable joke of a teacher started to believe this so much that he actually created a sort of test, a trial, a challenge. He would give $5,000 to any MMA fighter who could beat him because of course, you know, he's just going to use his magic and uh, and there you go. So this guy who practiced, you know, both karate, jujutsu and something else, uh, he accepted and this is what happened. Now, what I'm seeing, to be honest, it's like, I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, it suits him. It, it serves him well. But on the other hand, I, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of feel sorry and I don't. Like, I don't because it's good that he wakes up and hopefully he will lose some students. Although, of course, he came up with some excuse like he wasn't feeling very well. And so that interfered, you know, his cold interfered with his power, which I mean. First, they tell you the keys is this incredible force, but then all you need is, is, is like a flu. So again, another guy who publicly told us what the counter to his style is just get him sick and boom you know you can raid his dojo i suppose better not follow a madman and at number one i've got chief force field so this is this is probably the most embarrassing of all so this this guy uh, he's got a british accent i believe so i think he's somewhere from england believes that he can teach you to block attacks and throw open quotes energy balls close quotes with the power of again i suppose cheat <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah and he, he he's so into it that look how he mimics how how he plays should get an oscar how he pretends to be hurt by the energy it's like he's gonna give any football player in penalty kick zone a run for their money and this is what happens when they actually try the thing of course it didn't work because she still hadn't mastered the art it takes years and thousands of dollars i suppose but these are the styles these are the martial arts i could come up with with my research but let me know if you agree with this list if you found it funny give us a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. What do you think? Would you have added other styles? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and remember the Metatron has spread its wings. Goodbye and train well.